this might be the episode I've been waiting on since like 20 or 30 when like my man first got knocked out. This one's called The Sleeping Lion and we all know who that is. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, like I said, called The Sleeping Lion, episode 98. I am very excited to find out what happens. I am I feel so bad for a lot of our royal knights and, and magic knights in general who are having to go against their comrades, their friends, the people they team up with constantly, because they're all elves now who want to kill all the humans. So shit's hitting the fan. Mariliona let Zora and uh Asta escape and she's gonna deal with all five of them by herself. She says she's gonna kill them all. I'm very curious how that fight's gonna go. I say we hop right on into it. I'm very, very excited. Don't forget if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all of the shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are down in the description down below. Like always, don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated, you guys. Let's do this. Um, Black Clover, episode 98, The Sleeping Lion. Let's do this. Look at the other Crimson Lions. Leopold's doing his best. Vice Captain Randall. I've never met their Vice Captain. Leopold, keep everyone together. We got this. The two best captains. Let's do this. Come on, keep your pride, boys. Air magic. Especially when it comes to using fire, air is a big part of that. Yep, if he sucks all the oxygen out, you can't use fire at all. It's not looking good. Crushing air blast. Damn. Leopold sure is a real one now. He's trying. I like that. I like that. The flames of the proud Crimson Lion Kings cannot be extinguished. Look at all these guys going ham. I really don't think they stand a chance, but I respect their resolve and their willingness to keep going. Wind Javelin, Iron Bullet. Just dodges him. Got the Flame Javelin. I like how he can bounce on the air too, because he has air magic, that's crazy. This man, Air Palm is crazy. Yeah. That's crazy powerful. I love how elegant he is on the air though, I won't lie. Like it's very powerful, especially with elf magic increase. Good, good. I love their faith, their resolve. They really are a proud squad. They're willing to lay their lives on the line to defend this place and the, the people they trust. I respect it, I really do. Shout out you guys. Yeah, you're a little out of it, Leo. You guys have been through the ringer. Someone's got to save the day. There's no way. 
Maybe the sleeping lion is Leopold. I, come on, my boy. Come on, my boy. He has a flame arm? Weggy is back? <laughs> My boy is back. I got goosebumps and chills all over. Look at that. The Salamander Spirit went over to Fagolian now? Don't tell me he has spirit magic and shit now. I gotta sit up for this shit. It really is Salamander. That's so crazy. What a better person to choose. What, what? What? There is no better person, is what I'm trying to say. What a fucking goat choice. Envelop him in that flame of awesomeness. Oh, I need a Fogolian shirt so bad. This man is a legend. You must protect your fellow knights and your brother. Oh, this is so dope. I was so shocked when I saw Fauna with Salamander. This is even cooler. Oh, we all know spirit magic is insane. His grimoire is so dope. I'm saying there's not a better choice than Fagolian. Flame, spirit, magic, salamander's breath. Oh my lord. We know firsthand how powerful that spell is. Leo Palma. Oh, that's a classic spell as well. That's an old Fagolian spell. I would literally be like them. Fuegolian! <laughs> she was out there in the wilderness doing her own thing. It was that sounds like Mary Leona. Quite a bit. Oh man, it's been so long since Fogolian got attacked. Yep, it literally is William. I mean, this would startle anyone. And that's how. Damn. He really chopped it off. Oh my lord. That's good. Keep panic to a minimum. Look at the Golden Dawn. All of the Golden Dawn are. Am I crazy or is it all of the Golden Dawn besides Mimosa? Oh, 
it actually makes a lot of sense why all the Golden Dawn are reincarnated. If it's specific humans who are more on the same wavelength as these elf spirits who get reincarnated, it would make sense that William, aka Patry, chose all members who would turn into who are who are on the same wavelength, like I was saying, as the elf spirits. So all of his members, like, he really handpicked his team for this, but I'm so curious why Mimosa is the only one who didn't. Even fucking bitch Langris. Latry. This is Patry's cousin. An elf with Langris's magic? This is horrifyingly scary. Finroll. It's been a while. You're Finroll, yes. Oh. oh, my boy. Yeah, the city is in peril. Bro, it's been so long since we've seen Fogolian and Finroll. Both my boys are back. Let's go. Well, this episode was exactly what I wanted and more. Fogolian came back, which is so much what I wanted. He came back with a firearm and salamander. I was so with Leopold. Like, there's not a better choice than Fogolian. He inhabits the, the right mindset, the resolve, the... Uh, the care caring for people the fucking strength everything this man is just a legend so great choice yami also woke up finral we need him especially now that we see all the golden dawn members have transformed this is so scary there's literally so many powerful magic knights who have switched even randall the vice captain was handling all the entire crimson lion kings by himself besides fogolian like, this is, this is getting a little much. Like, Langris before, I hate his personality, but he, I cannot deny his strength. That man is so strong. And now Elf Langris, oh my god, he have all the Golden Dawn? Like, don't, Elf, you know, gonna be insane. Like, there's, this is just gonna be crazy, crazy, crazy. I don't know. I have no idea what's gonna happen. I am just glad that my boys are back, they can help out. Yami's on a mission. Fogolian's here to protect the capital, do what he can, save all the citizens. Oh, and the resolve from the rest of the Crimson Lion Kings and Leopold was much very commendable. Like, they were willing to lay down their lives for their hometown and what they believed in. And that's why they're the proudest squad. Like, I mean, come on. Like, they're savages. I gotta respect it. Give respect where respect is due. Woo, fantastic episode. I'm about to hop in this next one. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dabber channel. If you guys want early access or full length, we're four episodes ahead. Patreon links are in the description like always. Drink some water. Be safe. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dabber Squad. Peace.